Hello, 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 people. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Good. Hello, teacher. How are good you? Good evening. Welcome. It's nice to have Thank you one you. more time. Are you good? Yes? Yes. That's wonderful. It's nice to have you again. We're going to have Thursday, as you may see, right? Good evening, it's not today. Hello, teacher. Hello. How are you? You good? No, good. Oh, why? Tell me why. Um, for sick. Oh, for the classic. You still sick? You still sick? Yes. Oh, it's the third third day. Oh, yeah, that's true, right? It, it lasts. It lasts for about three or four days. So if you're still <laughs> sick, yeah, I'm sorry for you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. <coughs> Thank you so much. Just give me a minute while I get the material. We're going to have class number 15 today, as you may see, right? Yes. So um, thank you so much for being here. And I hope, oh, Jesus. Give me a minute because I have another one open here. Okay. No, it's okay. okay. Yes. Here we go. We're going to have a little bit more of this content, which is um, with past tense. We're working with past tense, double expressions with did, was, and will. So uh, we're going to add double edged questions or questions. This class, right? uh, This is class number 15. Don't forget that you have, you, you need to do the exercises that you have in the platform, okay? Okay, don't forget to do the exercise that you have in the platform. So, yes. Um, we're closing, we're closing that, that thing this week, as you may know, right? You need to do the your final exam, I think, and you have a bunch of assignments over there. So please, <laughs> please try, try to do those so you can be um, on time with, okay? Yes, and if you have a, a problem, uh, let me know if you want to uh, share something in the WhatsApp group. Do it. Okay. Siempre que tenga alguna duda, pues consulte en WhatsApp group or here in class. Okay. Let's begin with the content that we have for today. We are going to have this conversation. Okay. <laughs> Look at this picture. Tell me, please. What do you see here in this picture, Rosa? Mm -hmm. Leo, teacher? No, oh. tell me, the picture. What do you see in the picture? Uh, mm -hmm. uh, the, the peluquero, ¿cómo le llaman este? De... How do we say peluquero in English? Do you remember? Hair, 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 hair dresser, hair dresser. Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. And look at the girl. Okay. Is 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 what is what is her reaction? Her, is... her todo. <laughs> no sé, no, no. Las no las Okay. Is is she happy or is is she surprised? No happy. Oh, surprise, right? She's she's surprised when when she yeah, sees yes. her uh, hairstyle. Look at this one, right? Yes, it's the same, right? <laughs> Look at here, same here, yes, and the same <laughs> here in the picture. Look at that one, yes. The picture. Right. Yeah, we have the same hairstyle here, the same hairstyle here, and solo se corte por día, Yes, yes, exactly. Okay, we're gonna listen this conversation. I want you to. Pay close attention with pronunciation, listen, and read. Page 102. Exercise 5. Conversation. I grew up in New York. 
Listen and practice. So, Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photographer for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Page 102. Exercise 5. Conversation. I grew up in New York. Listen and practice. So, Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photographer for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Page 102. Exercise 5. Conversation. I grew up in New York. Listen and practice. So, Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photographer for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. So, what do you think? Well, uh... Okay, thank you so much, Julio. Question for you. Um, what kind of tense do we have in this conversation? Is this conversation about the future? Conversation about the present, conversation about the past. Um, conversation with the, the past. Very good. It is about the past because, see, here we are using where. Here we are using also what? was, when. One more time, was, was, did. So these words are in past. Very good. But the conversation is about something in the past. Okay. In the past. Teacher. Yes, very good. Okay. Teacher. Tell me. Eh, tengo una duda en la pronunciación de you grow up y en el primer párrafo y en el segundo. Okay. Como lo escucho como, como igual la pronunciación. Grow up. Grow up. Grow, Grow up. up. Y la, I green up. En la segunda, en el segundo part. This one? Born. Yes. En la conversación. No, no. This one is grow up and this is grew uh -huh. up. Grew. Ah, uh, uh, okay. Grow. Grow. Grow up y grow. Grew, yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Very, very good. If you notice, this is the present, right? Grow up. This is the present, and here, this is the past. Yeah. So be careful with that one. Be careful. Yes. Grow up. Okay. Where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Okay. Very okay. good. Save, save the conversation, please. Save the conversation. Say the conversation and do me a favor, please.
extend it like here in WhatsApp group that we have available so your classmates can have it, okay? Save the conversation, send the conversation over there so your classmates can have it, please, in the WhatsApp group. I'm going to open the breakout rooms again so you can practice this conversation, right? And don't worry about mistakes. No se preocupe de los mistakes, right? Just do it. Do it, do it, and do it. Okay, so don't worry. We're learning everybody here. Yes? So I will open the breakout rooms. Um, please be ready. Be ready. Okay, be ready with the conversation. Okay, Maricela, do you understand? Yes? Mm -hmm. Cristina, do you understand? Nubia, do you understand? Yes. Okay, very good. Tome la captura de pantalla la conversation. Take a screenshot of the conversation because we are going to the breakout rooms. So you can practice the conversation, okay? okay. Yes? Okay, I will open the breakout room so you can join your partners and practice with them. Yep. Give me a minute. Okay. Yeah, me a minute um in the first room in the main room Aleida Christian Jessica and Rosa you four stay here in the main room okay, teacher who who Jessica oh Jessica Elizabeth Romero okay <laughs> perfect thank you so much so you Aleida Arely Garcia Christian Romero Jessica Elizabeth Romero and Rosa Maria Salazar, you four stay here in the main room. Si, le va a llegar la invitación, no se una. The rest of you, please join your group so you can practice, okay? Yes, yes, so join your groups. Join your groups so you can practice conversation. Very good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Milagro Granados. Very good. Okay, very good. No, no, later, not later. You stay here in the main room. Okay, so Christian, Jessica, and Rosa, this is a space is for you so you can practice. Okay? Hey, teacher. Hola. Christian. Hola. Hola. Uh, comenzamos. Este. Comienzo yo. Okay, empiezo este. usted. Uh, so, so Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Where you born? In? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. Uh, and when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Here. Oh, was oh, what was your major? Uh, photography. I was the photographer for five years after college. Really? Why we did you because uh yeah, her, 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 she, her stylist. Her stylist? Because I needed I needed the money and I love and I love it. So what do you think? Well oh oh uh, Okay, okay, empiezo okay. yo ahora. Okay. So, Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Were you born there? Yes, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 28. How old were you ten? 
I was 18, I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography, I was a photographer for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I need the money and I love it. So what do you think? think? Well, oh. Ok, ahora quién Hola. me platica. Hola. No, ahí está Hola. Jessica. Vale, ahora voy yo con, no sé con quién. Éramos cuatro, comience con otra compañera. La Leida Hola. Rosa María. Ok, somos cuatro. Sí. Bueno, eh. Siga. Eh, pero no sé con qué oh, quiero ver está sigue usted y tiene de nosotros no sé ah vaya vaya empiezo yo sí so Mario where did you grow up I grew up in New York where you born there yeah, yes I was born in the Brooklyn And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 28. How old were you then? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photographer for five years at Oster College. Really, really, why did you become a hair, eh, no esa palabra, si no sé, hair, hair stylist? Because I need the money, I, I love it, so what do you think? Well, oh, ahora empiezo yo. Ah, otro. no, yo empecé, ¿verdad? Hoy el otro compañero. <ríe> ah, vaya. Vaya, compañero. Ok. ¿Yo inicio o okay? qué? Sí, sí, porque yo empecé el anterior. Ah, ok. So, Mario, where did you grow up? I grew up in New York. Were you born there? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How old were you think? I was I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photography for five years after college. Really? Why did you become a hairstyle? Because I need the money and I love it. So what do you think? Well, oh. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you, that was very good. Thank you so much for your participation on this one. We have, um, let me see. Rosa, we have in 2008, 2008, 2008, okay? Perfect, thank you so much. We have the rest of your classmates here. Thank you so much. We're gonna have... Peter. Yes. Uh... Hair stylist, eh, or como se pronuncia? The way you say that thing, hair stylist. Hair stylist. Hair stylist. So you are saying it right. Don't worry. Eh, aquí, yeah. Photographer. Yeah, that is correct. That is correct. Photographer. 
fotógrafa. Ah, yo creo que era fotógrafa. Mayor, mayor o mayor, ¿cómo se dice? Major. 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 Mm -hmm. Major. What's your major? Yeah, so uh, you did it very good, Christian. Great job. Fantastic. Thank you, teacher. Okay, we're going to have, let me see. Okay, Maricela, thank you. You are going to be Bianca. And Julio, you are uh, Mario. Okay, ready? Let's begin. So, Mario, where do you grow oats? Julio, your mic, I'm sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. I get it all in New York. Where you born there? Yeah, I was born in Brooklyn. And when did you and uh, when did you come to Los Angeles? In 2008. How or were you ten? I was 18. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Photography. I was a photographer for five years after college. Really? Welcome. Welcome to her stylist. Because I need the money and I love it. So what do you do you think? Well, oh. Just here we have really. Why did you become a hairstylist? Okay, very good. Really, where did you become become a a hair stylist? Hair stylist. Very good. There you go. Thank you so much, the two of you, for your participation. Page one hundred. Okay. On this one, we are going to listen and watch this video about the grammar part. Let's listen and watch. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn to ask and answer WH questions with did, was, and where. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Where Did You Grow Up? Let's listen and practice. So Chuck, where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. I was born there too. And when did you come to Los Angeles? In 1990. I went to college here. Oh, what was your major? Drama. I was an actor for five years after college. That's interesting. So why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. And I love it. Look, what do you think? Well, uh... Now, let's analyze how to form questions with did, was, and where. Where did you grow up? I grew up in Texas. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 1990. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. How old were you in 1990? I was 18. What was your major in college? It was drama. How was college? It was great. I would like to point out that the key to understanding this topic is to not get confused with the following question. When do I use did and when do I use was or where? You must remember the following. You will use was or where whenever you need to ask something related to the verb be. And you will use did for all the rest of the verbs in English. Now, let's analyze the questions and answers. We've already covered both of these topics. What we're doing now is presenting them together, hoping that it's not confusing or difficult. So, let's start with questions with did. When forming questions in the past tense with 
any verb that is not the verb to be, we can follow this formula. WH word plus did plus subject plus verb in the present plus complement. This is the case of our first three questions. Where did you grow up? When did you come to Los Angeles? Why did you become a hairstylist? First, we're going to add a WH word, where. Then we will include the auxiliary verb to form the question in the past, did. After that, we need to add the subject, you. Next, we include the verb in the present tense, grow up. Finally, we can add a complement. In this case, there is no complement. Towards the right hand side of this chart, you can see how these questions are answered. If you notice, the verbs change to the past tense now because we're no longer adding an auxiliary verb. Let's move on to asking questions in the past tense with was or where. We will use this structure whenever we want to ask something using the verb to be. We can't say the following. Did you were a good student? This is incorrect. To form questions in the past using was or where, we can follow this formula. WH word plus was or where plus a subject plus a complement. Let's break down an example from the chart. What was your major in college? First, we need to add the WH word, what? Then we need to add was or where. After that, we include the subject, your major. Finally, we need to add a complement and a question mark at the end. In college. Now it's your turn to practice making WH questions with did, was, and where. Practice making similar questions such as the ones on this chart. But now focus on asking them about yourself or your family. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Hi, everyone. In Today, as you may remember, we were working with verb to be questions, right? Simple questions with verb to be, yes? Like, like, were you at home yesterday? Were you happy yesterday? Was your sister in, um, in the class? Yeah, things like that with word to be. But right now, we are adding this thing that is called double H questions. We are adding this one, right? Double H. Yep, 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 yep. And yeah, we are using the verb to be, and also we are using other verbs, like, for example, grow up, do, come, and become. Okay? So that means that the question is going to be in past tense, yes? Where did you grow up? And the answer is going to be related to the past. So I grew up in New York. What did your father do there? He worked in a department store. When did you come to Los Angeles? I came to Los Angeles in 2019. Why did you become a hairstylist? Because I needed the money. So this is past question, past tense, and the answer is un past tense. Yes, this is the verb to be. This is the verb to be. Where was, okay? Where were you born? I was born in Brooklyn. When were you born? I was born in 1990. How old were in 2008? I was 18. What was your mayor in college? Photography, a photographer. Or five. So again, 
here we are adding the double edge questions when it comes to get information from people. Do you have any question about this? Any question? Tell me, any question about this information? Mm -hmm. Again, this is the past tense with other verbs and also with verb to be and, and, why? Everything is about the past. Yes. Here we are using regular verbs. We are using irregular verbs. It's a combination of everything. Yes. It's a combination of everything. So just be careful with that one. Let me tell you the attendance really quick. So please, when you hear your name, say present or I'm here. Okay. Um, okay, let me get your attendance list here really quick. Uh, okay, here we go. Five minutes. Okay, 17, okay. Uh, Are Aleida Arely Garcia. Thank Ale you, Bishop. Thank Maybe. you so much. Good evening. Alicia Arieta. Alicia Arieta. Thank you so much. Ana Cristina Osorio. Ana Cristina Osorio. And Leticia Garcia Martin. Thank you so much. Good evening. Elizabeth Campos. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. Blanca Mendoza. Blanca. No, she isn't. Christian Ernesto Romero. Present teacher. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Maricela Perez. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. Milagro Granados. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Milagro. Nice to see you again. Uh, Isabel. De Orellana. Isabel de Orellana. No, she isn't. Ernesto Arias. Ernesto? No, he isn't. What about Fatima Hernandez? Sí, Present teacher. Thank you, Fatima. Welcome. Good evening. Jessica Romero. Present teacher. Thank you, Jessica. Nice to have you. Melanie Serrano. Thank you, Thank you, Melanie. Nice to have you one more time. Juan Carlos Lopez Linares. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank nice you. to have you one more time. Julio Cesar Tobar. Present teacher. Thank you, Julio. Nice to have you. Miguel Rodriguez Sanchez. Present. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Nubia Ramirez. Present teacher. Welcome and it's nice to have you. Rosa Salazar de Fabián. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Uh, Eunice Ruiz Morales. Eunice? No, she isn't. What about Jennifer Flores? I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Jennifer. It's nice to have you. And Yolanda Andrade. Yolanda? Present. Present. Thank, thank present you, teacher. Yolanda. Good evening. Nice to have you. Let me check the chat up soon really quick. Okay, let's continue. With the Jesus. Okay, let's continue with some exercises here. Okay, let's take a look at the, the examples that we have here. Here we have, right on the top, we have don't use did when the past tense be where. Okay, use did with the simple past questions with all the verbs like go. Where did you go last Tuesday? Because answers. The question why so because it's the word that we use when we have the question why so let's begin number one how was your childhood i had a fantastic childhood what should be the number two where okay very good let me write it down just give me a minute tell me where okay. where okay like this one where did you grow up? Yes or no? 
Excuse me. Eh, where, pero de dónde? Oh, de where, where, right. Uh -huh. Yes, so, yes, we're going to have where with double H word. Very good. What about the number three? What do we have in number three? What is number three? Anybody? When were teacher? Thank you so much. It's when. When you tell me when? No, it's not when. Mm -hmm. It's not when. Where, where? Uh -huh. mm, no, I'm sorry. Look at look at the answer. Look at the answer with letter B. Oh, what? Oh, that's perfect. That was you, Mia, right? Okay. How? Oh. How old? Okay. How old were you when you started school? I think I was. Five or six, very good. What about the number four? Who? Oh, okay, very good. Let's check. Who? Oh, who was your best friend in high school? My best friend was a boy named Yoon Hu. Okay, what about the number five? What when, what, when, 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 okay, thank you. When did you leave home? In 2012. What about the number six? Where? When? Why? We? When? When? Why? Yes, if you notice, when we have why, why? we always, we always going to have, we always going to have the word because. Because, okay, because most of the time goes with yes. what. Okay, what about the last one? What? Exactly. I... What? Okay. What? Okay. Thank you so much. Okay, so please, uh, Rosa, read like number one, please. A and B. How was your children? Childhood. Excuse me, Rosa. I think I lost Rosa. I think she got it in a connection problems because I don't hear her voice. Um, yes, I think she's gone. Melanie, thank you. Number one, please, Melanie. Okay, please. <laughs> um, how was your childhood? I had a fantastic childhood. Thank you so much. Let me say La Flores. Thank you. Number two. Where did you grow? I grew in Incheon, a small city in South Korea. Very good. South Korea, right? Thank you so much. South Korea, that's what we have. Uh, let's continue with Nubia. Number three, Nubia, please read. How, how old where do you wear you start school? Starting, starting. What is start? How old starting. where you wear you starting school? Yes. That started. is correct, Novia. Yeah? Started. Started. Thank you. Teacher. Start. School. I think I was five or six. Thank you so much. Julio, number four, please. Thank you. Who was your best friend in high school? My best friend was a boy named John. 
Jung Ho. Very good, Jung Ho. Very good. Juan Carlos, number five. With the, when did you leave home? In uh, twenty hundred. Two thousand. Two thousand. Twelve. 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 Yes, two thousand twelve. Very good. Let me see. Oh my gosh. Milagro. Thank you. Number six, Milagro. Thank you so much. Okay. Uh, why did you live in town? Because I wanted to live in big city. Thank you so much. And Christian Romero, number seven. What was your first job in Seoul? I worked as a server in a restaurant. Thank you. I work. I work. I work. work. I work. Exactly. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay. Give me a minute while I get the material. Thank you so much. She, oh. she, my oh. questions we're gonna write questions oh. based she, on the information given we're gonna use was okay. and where and here we have the answer as you may see. for example why were you late this morning what is the number two you your exam difficult. Your exam difficult. Yes, very good sometimes, yes, but I need the correct, the correct uh, grammar structure, please. Your difficult exam. Ah, your, dif your difficult exam. Remember that we are using, we are using, um, uh, was and where, okay? Oh. Was? Was, well, where you, you difficult exam? Was. One more time. Was difficult, your exam? Mm. Where, where difficult, no, the, where you, where difficult your exam? Mm. <laughs> where? Oh. Is where your exam difficult? Or was your exam difficult? Oh, okay. Was your difficult exam? Okay. Was, very good. Was your, okay. your, your exam difficult? Exam. Difficult. Uh, was your exam difficult? Yes. Okay. Was your exam difficult? No, it was easy. No, it was easy. What about the number three? What is the question number three? Where were you and Chris last week? That was perfect. There were. There were. Where? 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 So and Chris last week. Last week. Last week. What about number five? Um, uh, what? Is, uh, what? 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 Camera, how much? Yes, sir. No, no. Comienza con how. That is correct. Very good, Jennifer. How, how was your 
new camera. <laughs> no sé. Don't forget that you need to use the vocabulary, right? The vocabulary here. Where, where? Where, where is your new camera? How much? No. How, oh, where? <laughs> It's singular. How, how was? No. It's from what? How was your new camera? How was? Okay. Okay. Your what, new what? camera, how much? There you go. There you go. Was your new camera how much? How much? How much? <laughs> your new camera. <laughs> I intend it. <laughs> Very good, Nubia. Very good. That's the way, right? That's the way. How much was your new camera? Very good. Continue. Number five. Why are you angry yesterday? Why you was angry mm. yesterday? No. Why were you angry Why yesterday? Were you? Thank you so much, Miguel. That is correct. Very good. Why are you? Why? Why? Where? Where? Hmm. Why were you hungry? Very good. Why were you angry? Yes, that is correct. What about the number six? Was the matter nice last week? No, was the night the last week? Was the night the water? Nice last week. Was the weather nice last week? Yes, very good, Anna Cristina. Very good. That is correct. Okay, was. Yes. All right. The weather. Nice. Nice. Last week. Okay. So, very good. Was the weather nice last week? Here we have the answer. Yes, very good. So, Rosa, please read number one, question okay. number one, yeah. and read the answer. Question okay. number two, and read the answer, please. Okay. Why were you la la this morning? Morning, the traffic was bad. ¿Qué dice? No, no, no lo alcanza a leer. Was bad. Yes. Bad. 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 Uh, was your exam difficult? No, it's what is easy. Easy. Easy, pero. Easy. That's okay, no problem. Thank you. Nubia, continue. Number three and number four. Four. How much was your new camera? System post. Number three, Nubia. Ah, four. Um, where were Su, Su and Chris last weekend? They were on holiday. Last week, last, last week, last week, very good. They very were good. on holiday. Thank you so much, very good. Uh, Jennifer, number five and number six, please. Thank you. Why were you angry yesterday? Because you were late. What was the mid? Was the weather nice last week? Yes, it was beautiful. Thank you so much, right. So if you notice here, right, we're working with, all of them are with was and where, but we are adding these ones, right? 
where, why, how. Uh, yep. And also we have with what and with where at the beginning. So these are questions, as you may know. Questions with, with simple past tense. Okay, stop it. Oh, let's... let's continue. Okay, here we have complete these questions. Okay, let's take a look at these questions one more time. What was your favorite subject in high school? It was art. What about the number two? What is the question in number two? What is the question word? Who? Very good, right? You got it. Who? Okay, so who? Who was your favorite teacher? My favorite, my art teacher was, sorry, Mr. Haynes. Very good. What about the number three? What is your number three? When? How old? When? 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 Yes, that is correct. We have when, when? because of the time. Sorry. Oh, give me a minute. When, when did you graduate from high school? When did you graduate from high school? What about the number four? When did you graduate school? Where, that is correct. Where, Where did you go to college? I went to Dog University. What about the number five? Why? Why? Okay. Why did you study physics? Why did you study physics? Right. So why did you study physics? Because I wanted to become it's, an astronaut. Okay. What about the number six? What are we having number six? Hmm? Who? Oh. Oh. How are you? Where, when? How? 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 Okay, how? Very good. How? How were you professor in professor in college? They were great. And the last one should be? How old? How old? How old? How old were you when you graduated? I was 22 years. Okay, so here we have one more time. A combination, we was. Here we have did, did you go, did you graduate, did you study? Okay, so we have a combination of all the verbs. Milagro, please read number one and number two, please. Thank you. Milagro. What was your favorite subject in night school? It was art. Who was your favorite teacher? My art teacher, Mr. Hanks. Thank you. Juan Carlos, please read number three and number four. When did you? When, when did, did you, did you write? From high school in uh, 2000? 2006. Perfect. Uh, where did you go to college? I went to Duke University. Very good. Graduate. 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 Thank you. Miguel, number Five, six, and seven, please. Thank you. Why did you study physics? Because I went to become an astronaut. How were your professors in college? They were great. How old were you when to you graduate? I was 22 years old. Thank you so much. Okay, Miguel, we have a uh, study. A study and wanted, wanted, I wanted. Um, and then here at the end, we have graduated. Grad graduation. Okay. Very good. This is the way we make questions, right? Let's see. Is 
suena bastante fácil, but, pues a ver si no es por es, pero, my suggestion is the following. Tenemos, hemos visto with past tense, to, primero es, where to be, was, and where. Yes, past tense. Tenemos here other verbs, for example, when, okay, played, yes, um, I don't know, get, okay, ha, I'm sorry, pass, pass, got, and ha, yes, and we have here in the middle, um, questions were, right, like, for example, what, yes, why, who, um, where, how, when, yeah, okay, those, right? So what do we do here? Well, it's a combination. I can say, for example, yes, um, what, where, was Carlo yesterday, okay, right, where was Carlos, cuando tenemos el verb to be, mire, el verb to be, la pregunta lo pongo en pasado, where was Carlos yesterday, right, pero si yo me voy al otro lado, right, y yo quiero hablar acerca de somebody else, yes, Aquí vengo yo y digo, ok, where did Carlos go yesterday? Ok, so if you notice here, estoy ocupando otro verb que no es el verb to be, right? ¿Cuál es el verbo? El verbo es this one, right? Go. Entonces, cuando ocupo otro verb, utilizo did. Y es como utilizo did, el verb va en presente infinito. Y es. Okay, so we need to be playing with these two rules. Be careful, be careful, okay? And don't get confused. Esta cosa, verb to be, is huge. Esta es la última clase. No, tomorrow tenemos clases. ¿okay? Ah, ok. Yes. So don't forget, this is the way we work. Estos son all the verbs, and this is the verb to be. Ok. And this is the way we do it. Remember, this is singular was, and where is plural. Aquí no tenemos plural en singular. Right? We just go with the end. But this one, just be careful, okay? Aquí es un poquito más easy, porque, pues aquí no tengo que identificar, o yo solo escribo did, y luego el verb in infinitive, okay? Yes? And any question about this? Any question about this, people? Any question about this? Julio, please, Julio, give me a question with, where in past, please? Thank you. Uh, no question. Una pregunta con where y ocupen una de esas palabras. Thank you. Uh, where, where, who? Um, 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 <laughs> Think about, elija una de esas, right? Who? Uh, Who, cool. cool. okay. Who? Cool. Who? Cool. Where? Where?
your your friend okay yes who were your friends in high school yes so don't forget the, the context right the context tomorrow i hope that we can have the chance to practice a little bit more this one okay so uh because it's time to go to bed I may mean, know okay so you can have a rest yes you can sleep like a baby and be ready tomorrow with another english class here on yes yeah. yes what is where is the same como quien dice fue exacto fue o fueron Mm -hmm. Estaban o estaba. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much, people. Take care. Good night. And we will see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night, good night teacher. Good night, teacher. Yes. Perfect. Good night. Good night.